Okay, so here you are. You got a hit show. You got a house in Malibu. You're partying. Yeah. Celebrities are coming over. And then in 1979, the show gets canceled. And you didn't even know it was coming. No. Found out from a newsstand guy. Wow. <laughs> you know? So here you are, and you're kind of, you know, this is your identity at this point. Yeah. You know, yeah. You're Raj. Yeah. <laughs> from right. With, you know, yeah. from what's happening. Right. And now you're canceled. Yeah. And you went into a depression over that. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Major depression, more drugs, because Coke, I haven't introduced to Coke at that time, and Remy Martin. So those were the go to, you know, and of course, weed, all of it, you know. Well, and uh, and crack. Yeah, which came in the 80s, though. Uh -huh. Yeah, that came in the 80s, yeah. Okay. Well, actually, like the end, like, like 1980. Like 79, 80. Yeah. Yeah. yeah right yeah. around that time. Yeah. Actually, you're, you're right. Yeah, yeah. The free basin happened right out. Yeah. Yeah. It did happen. Yeah. What was it like to, to start smoking crack and, and really go down that rabbit hole? Well, you know, people got to go in line. It is an awesome feeling. You know, uh, that free base is like that ecstasy, but it's a two faced drug, you know. Is is the angelic, and you have this euphoria, like oh my god, I want to feel this way all my life. But then that downside, then the devil comes, yeah. right? And every thought, every evil thought, everything that bothered you, every childhood memory, everything everyone said to you comes up, huh. and you feel less than crap. Well, yeah. yeah. Well, I guess you and Red Fox were really close. No, I never did. Yeah, he. I was too scared to do it with Red Fox because I knew he's a millionaire. Yeah, and he would say, "Hey, you're my son now. Come on over," you know. But I was smart enough not to come over because I knew being a millionaire, I would end up dead there. Because if with all the coke he could afford, I would free face myself to death. Oh, because he was using as well. Oh yeah, yeah. Uh -huh. Oh yeah. Okay, would he try to get you clean? No, no, no. I, we never even discussed the uh, drug. Oh, okay. Uh-uh. But, but I knew he did it. He knew I did. We never talked about it. I knew if I went over there, that was going to be the end of it. Yeah. Well, here you go from having this house in Malibu and, you know, partying and making all this money to, you know, losing the show. Well, the show gets canceled. Yeah. yeah. And then you had to move back in with your sister. Got, yes. We got evicted, actually. I actually got evicted. Yeah. yeah That's a horrible to, feeling. You had to move back uh, in with your sister. Yeah. With no money. No money. Yeah. And uh, I guess when the syndication checks were coming in, you just started using it on drugs. Yeah. At first, I was, I was being good because I, you know, I had become Muslim in 1977, which didn't help with my Jewish producers or my Christian... Um, castmates so i caught hell with that alone so when when the uh when the when the show was canceled i got back into trying to pray again you know after i got you know i look let me, i got to get off these drugs and i started praying and uh when i was when i got with my sister just to clean up you know because i knew that that was the initial thing that got me off drugs in 77 was uh my cousin brought this muslim guy over and and uh, I needed something, you know, as Christians would say, well, why didn't you? I said, you guys are too busy getting high to talk about Christ. <laughs> and my Jewish producer said, well, why didn't you come? Jew you never asked me to be Jewish, you know? <laughs> so, you know, so I got a lifesaver from a Muslim and that's what happened. So I started, you know, trying to, you know, keep the, you know, I was on the straight and narrow praying, have my white robe on and all that. And then when the residual checks came in, you know, that, that had that little, that little itch, you know, <laughs> the tribal, you know, kicked in again and <sighs> you got, got back. The white lady, you know? Yep. And I guess at one point you ended up having to stay at the YMCA. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yep. Y, yeah, that was where I stayed at the YMCA. Which was like a, basically a homeless shelter? No, uh, they just have rooms there. Well, yeah. yeah. So it's one step above. Uh, right. Yeah. 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 Because I mean, it's just a regular place, but they have places where people that can stay. And I didn't even know that, but someone told me about it. And um, I ended up staying there for till Muhammad Ali rescued me. 